So I wanted to talk to you guys about biological surface area and why it matters and finally just some basic calculations that I had to do to figure out my uh, BSA, my biological surface area. So I watched a video by um, Nate Story over in Bright Agritech. You can go check out their YouTube uh, channel, Bright Agritech LLC, I believe it is. And I also interviewed uh, Nate Story um, at aquaponicsforeveryone.com and the podcast over there. But um, you have to have biological surface area in your aquaponic system to be able to grow the bacteria that gets converted to make plant food, basically. And this is a mistake I made in the beginning. If you see my video on the, you know, my first NFT back porch system, I just had the fish tank running up the pipes, and I figured, ah, the fish poo will just feed the plants. And wrong. <laughs> you have to have some sort of biofilter that's going to catch solids and convert ammonia into nitrates, and, which becomes a plant food. Um, so what, what I didn't know is you need a specific amount of surface area in your aquaponic system to actually make it viable, to make it a good enough filter for what you're doing. So he shared these different calculations here. So um, depending on the different type of grow media that you use, its size, he gave you the calculations for the biological surface area. And this is a one cubic foot. And so it took me a while to actually remember how to do the math to figure this stuff out. I made a couple of mistakes and I actually went and asked him um, some questions in the comments on YouTube. He was nice enough to answer them. So this is what I found out. So um, one cubic foot of hydrotin, which is in this bed here, has about 70 cubic, or sorry, 70 square feet of biological surface area, right? So um, he recommends that you have 2.5 square feet of surface area per gallon in your fish tank minimum, right? So <clears throat> he says for best, your best bet, if you could have 10 square feet of surface area per gallon in your fish tank, uh, that is recommended. So, um, how in the world do you calculate this? So, I made up this little graphic here just explaining, uh, you know, how I did it. So, um, my grow beds are basically 17 inches by 25 inches by 6 inches deep. So, you multiply 25 inch by 17 inch by 6 inch, you get 2,550 cubic inches. Now, um, you want to get this into cubic feet. So one cubic foot has 1,728 cubic inches, which equals 1.475 cubic foot of grow media. Now, here's where the tricky part comes in. So the hyd hydrogen that I have in here has about 70 square feet of biological surface area per cubic foot. So um, I multiplied... 1.475 by 2 because I have two grow beds. So I know this has a different grow media in it. This is the black cinder, which would probably be more um, similar to um, probably this pea gravel. Um, but for um, this video's sake, I'm just going to use, say, we have the same stuff in all the grow beds. So two grow beds, that's 2.9 cubic feet of grow area times 70, which is how many square feet are in uh, hydrogen in, in one cubic foot of grow media, equals 206.5 square feet of biological surface area. So I have a 50-gallon tank in my system. So um, if he recommends, you know, 2.5 square feet uh, minimum for per gallon in your fish tank if I have 50 gallons we just multiply 2.5 square feet by 50 and you would get 125 uh, square feet of growing area at a minimum in mine so I have 206 so it's nearly you know about you know 80 square feet above the minimum so if I was going, going to use exactly what was recommended I would probably have to add 
two or three more beds to have that um, 10 square feet of surface area per gallon in my fishing. So I just wanted to show you guys how I calculated it, made sure I had enough of a filter in my system to deal with the amount of fish waste. Um, if you have any questions, head on over to the Bright Agritech YouTube channel or leave them in the comments below here and I will do my best to answer them for you. All right, talk soon.